Howdy all, I'm Adam the Renaissance Nerd, and with everything going on in the world, we have forgotten that Disney Star Wars still exists. I know, how could we possibly forget that? It's not as though it isn't one of the worst things ever created that nobody cares about, nobody watches, and has a pathetic minority level stand base. Skeleton Crew, December 3rd, we are a month away from that joyous occasion, Let's be honest, uh, I've said so many times already leading up to this, this is not going to be acolyte level cringe, it's not going to be some sort of breaking of all the Star Wars rules, what it is is going to be cringe level Disney Star Wars made for childish adults, so but Adam, it's, it's made for kids. No, it's made for the childish adult stand, that's what this is made for, but that doesn't save it from being reviewed and broken down for the crap that it is, and that's what I'm going to do. So here we are, we are a month away, and we've got one more trailer. That is right, out of nowhere, with no buildup whatsoever, Disney Lucasfilm has dropped a Skeleton Crew official trailer. So, I haven't watched it yet, this will be a live take on it, so why don't we get started, shall we? Oh, no, 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 no. One second in and I'm pausing? Are you serious? What? What is this? This isn't Star Wars. It's already not Star Wars. This doesn't look like Star Wars. It immediately doesn't freaking sound like Star Wars. What is this music? Oh, my God. I better not get a claim for this. What are you in for? What are you in for? She's going to be little girl boss, isn't she? And for the record, I'm allowed to criticize a fictional character. Don't care if it's a child actor. Fictional character, I can criticize it. And if her performance is this, then I get to criticize her for being a bad little actress. That's just how it works. All right. Uh, what are you in for? What are you, Star Wars detention. Am I, am, I in, am I in Star Wars detention being made to watch this? Is that what this is? Good Lord. What are you in for? I found something buried in the woods. <sighs> this is this is just stupid. Already just stupid. What are you in for? I'm in, I'm in for, for I'm in here for being a delinquent. Notice the girl is the butch delinquent, is the masculine delinquent, and this is the oh I'm a tumbling little boy with poofy hair. I'm the feminine one. That's what I see already. Not so secret agenda. Dad, this is unacceptable. Do you understand? What do you think it is? This is not Star Wars. <laughs> this isn't any... I haven't seen one thing in this right now except an Ortorlin youth juvenile who all the stands have a weird obsession with. I haven't seen anything in this. In the first 30 seconds, it says Star Wars. Not a damn thing. Don't touch anything. Why does this exist? I mean, all I see right here, it, this could be anything. Uh, that's the major criticism right now. Aside from that, it's it looks cheesy and stupid. What is, where is the Star Wars in this? This could be any random science fiction show. It could be any science fiction IP out there. And there's this is Star Wars. Are you kidding me? We just need some directions home. Come on, kid. Pay up. Whoa. All right. I, oh, randomly stopping here. You know, Jawas, Jawas kind of stay on Tatooine. They, they, they don't leave Tatooine. That, that's, that's kind of a thing. And let's just go back one second. Let's see if we can go back here. Uh, first of all, again, uh, credits. Not that's, I, I, that's not how it works. At least that's not how uh, it, it eventually works. Um, we have to find our way home. Uh, this is Disney Star Wars. It takes five minutes to travel anywhere. You guys have established that over and over again. Come on, kid. 
pay up. Whoa. Where'd you two find an old Republic credit? Help! Over here, quick. I'll get you home. We'll make a partnership. But we have to move fast. I don't have really words. I see something. You notice this? Here's our story. Lost kids, get home, Jude Law babysitter. Is that our story? Oh, and I guess pirates are going to be a thing too. I need you to take the controls. Okay. Neil? Okay, okay. First of all, or Torlins don't have the vocal cords to speak basic. They don't have the vocal cords to speak basic. They go, that's the sounds they make. He had that, that little trunk there, that's his entire mouth. That's his vocal cords. He, there's not a mouth underneath the trunk. So, no, that's not how it works. And he shouldn't have hair. What the F is with the hair? Also, Ortorlins, they're generally tiny. Max Rebo was a was kind of an offshoot. He's like a, the exception. Ortorlins are tiny. Play some Swo Tour, you'll find out. Uh, uh, Neil! Is this alien gibberish music? Is that what I'm hearing? A crew of murderers. Uh, so there's a shot of Urkel. Hi, Urkel. How you doing? Uh, that has to be... This, these, this costuming is... That's pathetic. All of this is pathetic. And we notice there's all the diversity possible. Cyborg black man, Asian dude, and I don't know what the hell she's supposed to be. Uh, it, this is pathetic and dumb. This looks terrible. It looks terrible from a production value standpoint. Murderous pirates is coming. Wait, 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 wait. The kids. Um, kids with the guns. Sure, fine. But doesn't that fly in the face of everything they yell at us about? Oh, that's Nick Frost's robot. And oh, here's Suburbia Star Wars. Suburbia Star Wars. Okay. Something's wrong. They're not going to. Wait, wait. Is this a nice, diverse family? I guess that's that kid's mom. So a nice, diverse family, of course. Got to make them diverse. Wrong. They're not going to just turn up. We need to find them. I, listen. Call me a stickler nerd, but I'm just going to remark on the fact that I've never seen glasses in Star Wars before. I'm thinking of the original trilogy. I'm thinking of the prequel trilogy. I'm looking at the EU. I've never seen glasses in Star Wars. Really, I haven't. This, the, the aesthetic they're presenting, I feel like I'm watching suburbia science fiction show that looks like present day this doesn't look like star wars it doesn't feel like it haven't seen anything in this that says star wars you've heard the mention of the old republic you've seen a jawa you've seen an ortorlin but i haven't seen anything that really says star wars it's though oh hey let's just throw the name on there and pretend we need to find them we're not alone all right, I'm just going to ride that back and show you. You get a good shot of Neil. That's his vocal cords. He should not speak basic. It's not physically possible for an Ortorlin to speak basic. But no, you got to have your cute character that all the weirdos can have a fetish over. Hold on down here. Oh, be warned of booby traps. Be warned of booby traps? I mean, I know the comparison is out there. This is Goonies-esque. But what the hell? Be warned of booby traps. I can tell already the dialogue in this is going to be dog shit. Pirates and mountains where none dare to go. If you hear this, don't give up. No matter what. Oh, look. It's, it's, it's One-Eyed Willie's treasure. It's One-Eyed Willie's Treasure. That's what this is. Right there. One-Eyed Willie's Treasure. It really is Goonies, I guess, huh? What? T 
two episode premiere. Ah, all right. So that means you'll get two days worth of uh, reviews from me. We'll do episode one on December 3rd or December 4th, depending on when it drops. And then the next day you'll get episode two. Yeah, this looks like complete and utter lame crap. I doubt, as I said, I'm going to reiterate what I said at the beginning of the reaction video here. This is not going to be acolyte levels of cringe. What this is, is just plain stupid. It is created for the lowest common denominator intellect. The childish Stan adult who just goes, Yay, Thomas! Yay! Oh, protect the children! Oh, look at the thing! Eh. That's who this is made for. Morons who clap like seals, want dead fish thrown in their face, and will go like this uh, to take the let the Disney dog take a shit in their mouth, and they'll say, thank you, sir, may I have some more. This is not made for Star Wars. There is no Star Wars in this at all. I didn't see a single thing that you could say this looks like a Star Wars show. You heard, you heard terms used, Old Republic. You didn't hear anything else or see anything else that could say Star Wars. The ships don't even look like Star Wars. The characters don't behave like Star Wars. And a dude is wearing glasses. My God, Disney Lucasfilm, Disney Star Wars, it is trash. And I cannot wait to have you watch me melt down covering this stuff because that's what I'm here to do. I watch it so you don't have to. I roast it so you could see the truth. And we will watch Disney Star Wars burn. So remember, this is what is Disney Star Wars right now. Skeleton crew. Then let's see what's coming around the corner. Nothing, literally, I don't think, until Mando Grogu movie. They got nothing. This is the last real bit of Disney Star Wars crap you're going to get until Mando Grogu. Now, that might actually benefit Mando Grogu because maybe people will forget how bad it is and go out and see it initially. But th this is, it's a dumpster fire. It is burning down right before your eyes. And all we have to do is sit back, relax, and watch it burn. And, well, okay, I, no, I'm not going to sit back, relax. I'm going to have a poker, and I'm stoking this thing. I'll throw gasoline on it to make it burn faster, because that's the only way this ends, when Disney Star Wars burns to the ground and real Star Wars remains. Anyway, for now, I'm done. I'll see you on December 3rd and 4th for these reviews. <sighs> Until then... Check out this channel, so hit that like button, subscribe to me right here on YouTube where I'm here to earn your trust and support using facts and logic because facts and logic do not care about fake fan Stan and SJW Fifi's. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Check out my gaming channel at Renaissance Nerd Arcade and follow me on X Twitter under at the Red Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.